Yo, what's the deal, yo, son, done? Hey, man, I was impressed. I was like, damn, I look good. The motherfucker, boy. <laughs> look at that motherfucking charming smile, them dimples, boy, boy. You crazy. <laughs> nah, uh, hey, I'm going to make this post here. Hopefully, I get to uh, put it up uh, soon. Look at me. I'm all, I'm like, mm, let me put it up soon. You know, time about, you know, time about, bam. <laughs> All right, check it out. Okay, so this post here is about uh, it's about uh, dating, the dating world. And I, I made a video. I'm not sure why I did the video instead of just the audio like I usually do, but I don't know. I guess it's so impactful. Um, we're in a sexual revolution um, where women and what the the status of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fucking glowing, dog. I can't help it, man. I think I'm glowing like a motherfucker, boy. I'm bamming, boy. I'm bamming up in this bitch. Anyway, he probably ain't gonna get past that, cause he, anyway. But check it out. That's why I don't do no video shit. <laughs> I'm a star up in this motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. All right, so, so, uh, <laughs> it's where women, can roll up on you and they just want to sleep with you okay that's where we at we're a female and it's cool you know what i'm saying it's cool in her mind where she's like damn you know we had a good night and it's all good that's where he's at whatever her men mental thing is she'll accept that if you just want to screw her uh for a night or whatever you just have to ask you know what i'm saying so we're, we're in them times to where <clears throat> we're uh we're you know, you don't have, the essence of it is where you don't have to get married, you know what I'm saying, to have sex, so. Um, so nonetheless, the father gave me the game. He gave me the game and I was like, okay, let's do it. So um, before I was just, you know, I was just getting horny and stuff and I would just be like, damn, how do I go about getting these girls? But the father gave me the game, so now I just run my game and, and it just works. Um, so the game is, and this is basically, I want to just say it on here for the viewers, because you, you know, if you know me uh, somewhat, you listen to the channel, you you hear me say I'm pimping, I'm a pimp, all this crap like that. <clears throat> so it's basically just um, the game I got is just the pimp game. It's it's basically saying, uh, but it's the true game. It's the true way to have a relationship. Um, so what do I do? Uh, I meet a girl, and right when I right when I get that vibe from her, like, you know, we look at each other and it's like, okay, I felt that pulse, that vibe. The first thing I do is is I I find out if she's single or not. Hey, are you single? Whatever. Whether it's on on the computer or on the street or in the grocery store, or whatever. I just go say, hey, are you single? Whatever. Are you married or whatever? And then they say, yeah, I'm single, or no, I'm not married. And basically, that's just telling them, if you don't want to talk to me, lie to me. Say you're married, or say you're not single, or whatever. That's your, that's the opportunity. If you think, if you think I'm ugly, or whatever, or you repulsive, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to have nothing to do with me. You can be like, yeah, I'm married, bye, or whatever. Uh, and that's the reality, you know what I'm saying? A perfect example, I could be like, I'm handsome, and then turn the corner, and girl be like, mm -mm, you know. So, <clears throat> to each his own. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I find out if the girl's single, and then I say, okay, are you looking? I say, if they're on the website, I say, are you on here looking for friends or, or a guy to be with? And if it's in person, you just say, you know, are you interested in making new friends? Are you uh, friends only? Or are you uh, interested in a relationship or whatever? If you find the right guy or whatever, I find out if they want a relationship or just friends, if they're ready for a relationship or just friends. <laughs> And then they say, yeah, I want a relationship or no, just friends, just friends, bye, whatever, you ain't ready. 
You know what I'm saying? Easy. I'm not thinking about you no more. And I'm being fair, even if the next cat. Oh, well, man, we could be friends. And then later on, y'all get drunk and he screws you. I mean, yeah, he ran some game on you and said y'all was friends. And he got you high and drunk and fucked the next day. And he was like, y'all woke up in the bed. He was like, well, I guess we weren't friends long, you know. And then y'all have a laugh and now y'all together. So, I mean, it's multiple ways, multiple different types of game. But that ain't my game. So, mine is more in the mind. Um, so, I find out, yo, I want a man, okay. And then I, I'm like, okay, well, I'd be interested in having you as my girl, you know. Would you ever consider having me as your dude? And they might say, yeah. I say, okay. I mean, it don't happen like this. It does happen like this step by step, but not verbatim. So after you like find out if they're interested in a relationship, then you say, well, you got to know the rules of the relationship. And the rules are that the man can be, or the guy can be with as many girls. He can have as many girlfriends as he wants to have. Um, that can ultimately turn off some of the other girls that he's with and they can all leave him. Um, he may be with one, he may not have no girls, then he get with one girl and she knows the rules. She's like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. And then he get with another girl and the other girl don't like it. And then she gets on her nerves and they both leave him. So it's like, the, sim the simple rule of it is, is that the girl gets to be with whatever guy she wants to be with, whether he has a girlfriend or not already. And the guy gets to accept as many girlfriends as he wants. Uh, and he can quit them at any time. So I ask him that next. And then they like, no, that's BS. So I don't want to do it like that. Or I want a serious relationship or... Uh, <laughs> I'm not stupid or um, you know that sounds like friends with benefits you know so <clears throat> what I'm learning is the game is right it really works um, but what I'm learning is that a lot of these girls are controlling you know what I'm saying they want a man to they want to do it to agree just to talk to them while they can talk to whoever, leave the dude. They want him to just like check out the game right when they start dating. Mm -mm. The only difference between this not being labeled as dating is that it's not assumed that you're gonna fuck on a date. You know what I'm saying? It's assumed you just kiss goodnight and leave. But yeah, man, I guess I guess I went the long way around of saying it that uh it's a lot of controlling women out here, you know what I'm saying? I used to think, you know, damn, do what you gotta do to to get it. Or she's always right or whatever. If you fuck, you did something right, but it, it's, my game is clean. My game is clean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna be overly dramatic trying to put my penis inside of some girl because She's not clean, you know what I'm saying? Because her game is messy. Like, you know, the girl may want to screw you, but because you're so clean with it, that don't attract her, you know what I'm saying? So she's like, she got with this dude, and he, he grabbed her by the hair and was like, come get me some of that ass. And she was like, okay. Like, <laughs> like no rules, aggressive sex. She was all into that. So I'm like, it, this is my game is clean, so I got a clean game. I'm, I'm not talking to none of these girls that ain't down with my game. And what I'm saying is that I used to feel bad when there was a girl that was kind of close to what I liked and didn't get. I'd be like, man, I did something wrong. What I what did I do wrong? <laughs> and be like, damn, if I would have did this, I could have got it. But the truth of the matter is. 
a lot of the girls ain't for you and you ain't even gonna enjoy them. You gonna, you gonna not like what they do and how they make you feel. And that's, but you gotta have the right tools to let go of the losses and to, and to keep going to the wins. And that's why I got this proper game going. Like, I see, I see the hoes, I see the, the players, the girls that's controlling. I see the girls that's got game more than the dudes. You know what I'm saying? And I see them try to run their game on me. I'm gonna win in the end anyway. I'm gonna win in the end anyway. Cause I'm the game I'm running. I'm at the fir I'm the first one at the race and I'm like, you ready to start running the race? And then I'm also the last man at the end of the race with the gun, like, pow, you won. <laughs> so it's like, I ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna come to me if you know me, if you want something like a drug deal. You're gonna come to me if you want something, if you know me. You might not do it then, that week or that day or that month or that year, you know what I'm saying? But as long as I'm online and I'm steady pimping, I'm steady, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Are you in a relationship? You single, this and that. Making myself available, you gonna take the bait. It's just, it's, it's as simple as that. Because um, it's working. My game is working. I got girls. I'm, I'm talking to girls. Like, and I'm starting to see I can't talk to all of them. You feel me? I can't. It's like, the shit's working. So, um, but yeah, just wanted to make that post. Man, there's a lot of girls out here that want a man to just be controlled. Like, they want you to go to work and fuck them and for, the, for your whole check. You know, give me the check, let me give you some sex. No head, no butt, <laughs> no freaky shit. Just, I, I won't fuck the neighbor if you keep giving me your check. Like, no bennies, none of that. Uh-uh. So, uh, I very rarely meet dudes who are on top of the game, who have like a girl who's like, yeah, I'm with him, yeah, he's on top of the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's, he's dominant sexually, he won, you know what I'm saying? He, his masculinity is proper, you know? And that's how mine is feeling. Like when a girl does you dirty, like before, I couldn't be like, damn, she did me dirty. That was her fault. That's a funky ass chick. I would be like, what did I do wrong? You feel me? What did I do? What? I could have played it like this. Why didn't I play it like that? If I was a better player, she wouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. That ain't the case. <clears throat> when you're on your game and you know wins from losses, you're able to see the ducks and who's the who's the silly girls and who's who's smart and who's wise and who's playing poker and holding their hand to see what you gonna do, all that. So but yeah, I just wanna make the post to say it's a lot of uh a lot of girls out there looking for a dude. It don't matter if you got muscle, money or a mansion. They looking for you to be, to give them things, to treat them like a princess. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, them times is gone. You feel me? Uh-uh. So, the, uh, the dude has, gets to have as many girlfriends as he wants, uh, so the girl he's with don't control him. Uh, and the girl gets to be with whatever dude she wants, even if he has a girlfriend, and she gets to leave whatever dude she's with for no good reason, just to avoid that control, being controlled. 
but you, when you meet somebody and you're interested in them, you got to establish whether or not you're going to be intimate or not. And that's it. If you feel that intimacy, you got to have the courage to be like, hey, I feel something here. You want to pursue this? I'm going to tell you, I'm married. I can't pursue it. I ain't single. I can't pursue it. Two, I feel it too, but I don't trust it. I don't want to pursue it. I just want friends. I don't want to pursue it. Uh, three, uh, I'm single. I want to pursue it. I'm ready to pursue it. Uh, how do we go about pursuing it? Number three, how? That's where the rules come in, you know? Before it was, okay, well, let's just date. Let me not piss you off, you feel me? Let me try to make you as happy as possible every day. That's That was the, the three of old. But now is okay, I'm gonna add you to my list of people I'm intimate with. Guess what? Right now I ain't got none. I got two. The other girl ain't even in the state. So this is where you at, okay? All right, okay. Uh, she say, oh, I'm talking to some other dude. Uh, can I still talk to him and talk to you? Uh-uh, you just, just be my girlfriend or his, or, or neither one of us. Uh, and then she say, okay, I'm gonna break it off and just be with you. All right, so that's y'all starting y'all's trust. Um, I was talking to a girl earlier <clears throat> in the street, and she kept trying to tell me about her life to like build herself up to the point of, okay, we can be together now. And I'm like, don't, don't start telling me about yourself unless I'm somebody. You feel me? Don't just open up to me. I'm like, so. And this other girl, she was like, yo, what's up? I'm interested. Let me get your phone number so I can call you. I'm like, I'm not going to talk to you unless you're my girl. You know what I'm saying? So make up your mind what you want to do. <clears throat> and it's basically, are you cool with me having as many girlfriends as I feel like having? If you cool with that, you may not like them and you can leave. Or one day you may wake up and not be cool with it and then you can leave. So, but for now, are you cool with that? Yes, okay. And then I'll tell you about all of them. They can, y'all can all have a party if you want. There's no player shit, no secrets. Two, um, um, you can leave whenever you want to leave and I can quit you whenever I want to quit you. So do you want to give me your trust and can I give you my trust? And can we start that right now going forward with those rules? That's how. Can we do that? And then the girls say, yeah, we can do it. I say, all right, cool. Then we start having our relationship. I'm not going to say, you my girlfriend, you supposed to suck my dick, you supposed to fuck me. No, I'm going to be who I'm going to be, you're going to be who you're going to be, and we're going to see what our relationship is going to be. And it may last forever. It may last today. But the point is, once the, once the tension comes and you don't want to do it no more, you're going to have to. And, and then the, the last relation, the last way, when the stress comes and you don't want to do it, the last relationship style was, oh, okay, well, let me, let me get through this. No relationship's easy. Let me press through it. <laughs> let me read some books. Let me figure out how to, you know what I'm saying, how to succeed in my relationship. Hell no. We're going to say, do you want to touch each other? Do you feel like touching me? Yeah, okay, well, we're going to start a relationship. Give me your trust. I'm going to give you my trust. You don't want to touch me no more. Days later, weeks later, fine. You don't want to touch each other. You don't want to pick up when I call. Well, give me my trust back and you can have your trust. The end. That's how it should be. You shouldn't be like, is she cheating? You know, because you don't trust her anyway. So the point you don't trust her, that's when it needs to be over with. But we don't have the rules until this video 
these are the real rules for the relationship. And cause, but this is the pimp game. Like I was saying, um, <clears throat> maybe a player. <laughs> like I could have played that girl earlier today. I was talking to a girl. Uh, she was like, <laughs> she was attracted to me. And I was like, give me a hug, hugged her. 20 minutes later, I was like, give me a hug, hugged her again. So she wanted it, you know? But she just didn't mentally come to that point to say, I'm gonna be responsible for this decision. So I could have hung out with her, and drank with her and smoked with her, and kissed her and fucked her without getting the ground rules down mentally. You feel me? And then that, that, that would have been her escape though. Like the next day she would have been like, well, we didn't establish nothing, so I'm out, you know? Uh, and that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But um, for pimps, you establish it here. Do you want this? Yes, I want this. Okay, cool. Do you want this? Yes, I want this. Okay, cool. You're here. I'm give. You have power with each step. You know, you're not getting played. You're not having to figure out what to do next. What does this person want me to do next? You know, uh-uh. So, <clears throat> but yeah, um, that's just my game. So, and that might be the whole game, how it works. But from right now, I know that that shit works. And I know I know how to work that shit like that. And I'm learning there's a bunch of girls out here that like power and they, they don't want to give that shit up. They don't want to make it equal. They want to make the man kissing their ass. I, I did a joke. Um, <laughs> I had that said a joke a while back. I was saying, I said, these, I said, first these girls, I said, I said, yeah, first these girls wanted you to, uh, I said, first these girls wanted us to kiss their ass for the pussy, you know? I said, then they want us to lick their ass for the pussy. <laughs> I said, what's next? Eating shit for the pussy? But there's videos out there, motherfuckers eating shit. Mm, just to get in this girl's pants. Mm, mm, mm. All right, well, uh, <laughs> all right, I just want to make that fucking rant about this relationship shit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say it again. I'm, I guess I'm gonna make this the rules in a relationship or something like that. But first thing you need to know is if the person is available or not, okay? If they fucking married, if they got a boyfriend or girlfriend, they're not available, they're not single. Now, something else I am learning is some people are trapped in relationships and it is okay to go behind their back. That's what else I did learn that's true. <clears throat> um, some people are scared to fucking talk to people or find out that they talk to this motherfucking girl or dude. They ain't got a damn thing to do with the other person. They just, the other person's controlling and it's jealous and crazy, you know? So they don't want to be with them. They can't get out. They want to do something with you. You want to do something with them. You see they can't get out or whatever. What the, you ain't got to see that. But there is such thing as a secret <laughs> when fucking. And that's something I learned too. Um, there was a dude that uh, I'm cool with, he's cool. Uh, his girl, his ex, ex-girl, she's into me. Um, <clears throat> and I basically said, it, it came right to me right when she started talking to me. She was like all in my ear like, what, what's up, what's going, what's up? You know, like, I'm right here, what's up? She was like on it, you feel me? And I was like, I'm just sitting there listening to her, you know? And then I basically, I was like, I'm not finna talk to this girl because I hang out with her ex-dude. I'm, I'm hanging out with this motherfucker every now and then, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna put myself under that pressure to where I'm like, passing him the weed. I just, you know what I'm saying, screwed his ex-girlfriend and I'm like keeping it a secret, like, yeah, what's up? Like, I'm not finna, 
date you and then be telling him he see us out walking be like yeah what's up man is it cool with me and her talk no -uh. i'm not gonna get his approval or none of that shit like <sighs> so she's talking to me and she's telling me and shit and i'm like and it comes to me i'm like look <laughs> i was like the reason i ain't trying to pick up on you right now i see you interested in me i was like but I hang out with the dude you used to, your ex dude, I hang out with him sometimes. Like, that's why I'm not, like, if we didn't hang out, I didn't know him, i pursue you. And I was like, but if you want to mess around, I said, we're going to have to do it on the low. You know what I'm saying? And that was for him. That's because I'm cool. That's because I'm cool. And I'm trying to protect his feelings by not flaunting it, you know? So that's all I was saying. And it's okay. You know, they're not together. They ain't been together. I think he's cool. I think she's cool. She wants to mess around with me. The longer we mess around and we're not trying to hurt him, it's all good. He should see that as cool, you know? Um, so I told her that. I was like, we're gonna have to keep it on the low if we do anything. She was like, cool. Uh, so that's one too. If if they're not single, and you might have to keep some on the low, that's a thing. I didn't used to think that was a thing. I used to be like, oh, this person's down bad, or they cheating, or whatever. People are in relationships, bad ones, because they can't get out. That's all. For whatever reason, <clears throat> but first thing. Are they available? If they're not available, you're going to have to creep. And you can't really creep with this game like this. You got to say, are you single or not? And they're going to say yes or no. If they're not, they out. Uh, you know, so... If you're single or not, do you want friends or a relationship or not? Can you get down with the rules and then let's begin? And then you got to break up whenever you you don't trust them no more. That's it. You, you want your trust back, you take it back and y'all break up. But you give that trust right away. You give that trust right away. In the beginning. And trust is what you're talking about, because you know you trust a bunch of girls, and you trust, and girls trust a bunch of different dudes. So I'm fucking tired of shit. I'm gonna post this shit though. See what's up. All right. So single? Do you want friends or dating? Here's the rules. Are you cool with that? When you don't want to do it no more, you can have your trust back in the so That shit could last forever or or a day. Along that way of them things, people fall off. Some people ain't single. Some people don't just want friends. They don't want no relationship. Some people don't like the rules. And some people uh, don't have the courage to break up with you. I, another girl. I just talked to another girl. You know, you can be my girl. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't want to say it. She, seeing her on the chat line. What you doing on the chat? I thought you was going to bed. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to be your girlfriend. <laughs> all right, damn. That's all you had to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, you, you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't have the courage to break up. So the other girl earlier didn't have the courage to do it, to, to get with me. She wanted me to steal it, to bypass her non-courageous decision mine. <laughs> I was like, baby, I'm gonna need you to make a decision to be with me. You know what I'm saying? All right. So uh, sexual revolution, the rules of the relationship. The man can have as many girlfriends as he wants and the girl get to be with whatever guy she wants if the dude will accept her. It don't, it don't matter what girl you, if you got a girl already or not. And neither one of them have to be with either one of them. This is a relationship is a trust. You can't be friends and interested in somebody 
and call them tomorrow and they don't pick up the phone. The only reason that hurts you is because you trusted them. You gave them trust and they didn't pick up the phone. Now you hurt. If you never gave me a trust, you wouldn't be hurt. So when you give somebody your trust like that, you have to establish that y'all are in a relationship. Whether even if it lasts 30 seconds a day, when it's over, it's over. You take your trust back, you give it to somebody else. What I'm learning is I can't get that shit to everybody because I ain't, it's only 24 hours a day. Bunch of girls, I want to be with you. I can't even get back to them because I'm talking to the next one. So I'm just trying to catch up on this shit. But I wanted to make a post here and just, just share that uh, once the game is worked, just stick to the game. You know, don't be swayed by these beautiful ass, controlling ass women. You know what I'm saying? Or these fucking freaky ass, controlling ass women. So don't take the bait, you know? Because the game's going to keep producing bitches. I mean, females, you know, it's going to keep bringing in new girls that are, and, and the good ones are going to stay. The good ones are going to be good. And they're going to make you better, you know? So. And then you get off your game trying to get one or two to stay. You see what I'm saying? You get off the game and then the whole process is shut down. You might be out of commission because you got off your game trying to make one girl happy. <clears throat> and she was controlling you on top of her shit, fucking the next motherfucker. Straight up. Shit's happened to me. <laughs> I was I was money, money, food, sex, giving this girl everything. We broke up the the week the next week she was with a dude. She had a dude in her in the house. I put all the shit in, feeding him the food I bought, clothing him with the clothes I bought, all that, you know? So it's like you gotta stay on your game. Or fall off, you know, but you gotta have game though to, to know. See, before, when I wouldn't score right, I would be like, well, I messed up maybe. Maybe I messed up because a real player would have scored on that one, but that ain't true. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get your portion. But I didn't have the game until now. Now my game is tight. You feel me? So it's on another level. It's on another level. Before, my game was running, but it wasn't this tight. It wasn't this tight, you know? It wasn't mentally yet. I didn't have it. I had it in my soul. My gut was like, get out there and get it. But I couldn't see it, you know? Now I see it. <laughs> I see it. And now I can see these girls, how they act and who, who's gonna end up coming around, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't nothing but a lonely game. Who's lonely, you know what I mean? If you want somebody to touch you, if you feel lonely if you feel like you want to touch somebody be intimate with them reach out and touch them whether on the phone texting sending pics or video chat you want to make a connection that's what it means to touch somebody that's looking for intimacy that's dating that's a relationship the relationship style i have is you gonna let me be with whatever girl i want to be with and you gonna shine like the shining star to where I'm just with you or not. Are you gonna believe? And that's true to life. That's true to life. No other relationship style is true. That is to me. You can be married, because when you go out to the grocery store, people are interested in other people but they never know whether it's gonna be okay if, to pursue that interest. The game that I got is giving me that access or not. It's, um, is it cool to do it with you? 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 Everybody who wants me, that I feel that with, I got the game to see if I can fuck them or not, you know? Every, if I feel that vibe and a girl looks at me and I look at her, I got the game now to go fuck her if she wants to fuck me. Like, I can go over there and fuck her. Like, before, it would be like, I feel this vibe. Let me just try to get closer to her. Let me try to talk to her, you know what I'm saying? No game. 
no game. Now, I'm step one, step two, it's not no robotic shit. It's some pure shit. <laughs> I'm running game to see if you going to fit or not. You know what I'm saying? On my real life. So, because I know my life. I know me now. So, God gave me the game to work what my necessities was. So, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Take a break and smoke some weed. But I'm gonna post this up. I really feel like this is your relationship rules, but I can't get outside the fact that I'm I'm on some mental shit, you know. Alright, I'm gonna post.